Hi, everyone. My name is Yenisville Hernandez. I'm a BCABA, uh, and I'm here. We're going to go over functional communication training, and I'm here with ABA Exam Academy. In ABA Exam Academy, what Demi and I do is we offer these free tutoring sessions uh, once a week, and uh, we are, well, twice a week, but next week we're going to start doing it once a week. Uh, which is going to be great because we're going to be able to focus on creating new material or more in-depth material, especially for the classes that we have going on and the tutoring sessions that we also do. And if you want more information about the rest of our services, just go to www.abaxamacademy.com. And talking about classes, this Saturday we're going to be um, having a class on February 8th, this Saturday at 1 p.m. And it's going to be in measurement. It's intensive. It's an intensive course. I'm dedicating myself to um, a lot of time on IOAs since those are tricky. So I am going hard on them. <laughs> I am con I am currently still developing them. The mock questions. Okay, guys. So the disclaimers that we have here in ABA Exam Academy is that these meetings are meant to have active discussions, uh, collaborations. And we do to this just to make sure we double check the information we we find and we talk about here with your books. And uh, again, my name is Yanisio Hernandez. I'm a BCABA, and the PowerPoint and mock questions were all created by me. And let's refrain from sharing any uh, test questions that you have seen in the past or anything like that. The Cooper book and the Mayer book is the books that I use usually. Today is mainly <coughs> Cooper. Okay, so let's go to the nitty gritty. Stop me if you have any questions or any observations. And uh, we're, today we're gonna go over functional communication training. Other, uh, other words, it's also seen as FCT everywhere else, right? So who can tell me what it means? Or maybe the first couple of words that pop up in your head. It doesn't have to be the whole definition. So when I say, okay, we're going to be doing functional communication, communication training, what are you thinking about? If you have a client in front of you. Antecedent intervention. Good. I like the word that you use, antecedent. Providing communication um, to... Re, um, yeah, providing communication to help the client um, meet their needs and wants? Yes, so uh, um, it's DRA. A, go ahead, DRA, it's another keyword for it. So I like those three concepts that you guys said, and now we're gonna put it all together. Thank you very much, and we're gonna make the definition fuller. So here I wrote specifically what Cooper said, and then I put it some somehow in my words, but, um, Functional communication training is a, a, establishes an appropriate communicate, uh, communicative behavior, which you mentioned, right, to compete with the problem behavior evoked by establishing operation. So you guys mentioned communication, and we, you mentioned also EO, and this is how it all relates. We have to keep in mind that functional communication training doesn't change the EO. So what, basically what that means is that it does not change how much the client wants something. So we're not really manipulating that. We're manipulating more the alternative behavior or, or we're teaching an alternative behavior. It develops an alternative behavior that are sensitive to the EO. In other words, it develops an alternative ways for the client to communicate to others what he wants. So. Let's go to how it actually looks in reality. So here I left the same definition that we had covered. And here I put a scenario. So the scenario is, it is a hot sunny day in Miami. Danny is at the park with mom. He sees an ice cream truck and runs towards it without telling mom. This incident happens every time they go to the park. So what do you think is the problem behavior in this scenario? Development. Running. Yes. Both. Uh, Danny running away from mom, better known as elopement for us, right? 
So what is the EO? <coughs> it's a sunny day. So there's motivation for ice cream. I like that in the sense that the sunny day, it means like the uh, EO could be that it's hot, right? right? So him feeling hot could make him motivated to get ice cream because the ice cream is what? Is more valuable. It's, it's more valuable because the ice cream is it's cold. So he is, he's deprived or cold. So he's going to get the cold thing, which is the ice cream. So then it could be hot or he could be hungry. So because he could be hot or hungry, his desire for obtaining the ice cream increases. So there's the EO that we're talking about, right? And what could be the function? And keeping in mind, I know you guys know this, but I want to say it because the video is going to be in YouTube. So keeping in mind for us to know the function, we need, uh, this can be determined after a functional behavioral assessment has been completed. So just because of the, the, just because of the scenario doesn't mean that we're going to know the function. What gives us a little hint, uh, and I did it on purpose, is by saying this incident happens every time they go to the park. So it's a repetitive pattern so we can hypothesize a function. So um, what is the hypothesized function here? for him to engage in elopement? Jessica says it's automatic. It, and I was thinking it's more, it's an attention maintained. Well, yeah, those are good. Let me see, I think it's missing, the scenario is missing something else. So let's say that, um, let's put this to be more clear. Uh, uh, every time he does this, Is that a he gets the ice cream. And mom doesn't give him attention. Uh, let's say, um, Oh, let's keep the mom gives him attention. That's good. Okay, so if he gets the ice cream, that means that he is getting. If he repeatedly gets the ice uh, the ice cream, then that means the function could be access to the handle. access to the uh, to the to the ice cream. And if the mom gives him attention repeatedly, then that could also mean that is uh, attention from mom. Okay, that's more clear. I like that, guys. Uh, let me erase this. Uh, slash attention from mom. Okay, so keeping that, that we need to, uh, uh, we need to come up with an appropriate communication behavior or alternative behavior, alternative behavior or replacement behavior. Those are all like keywords that can tell you those things in a mock test and in real life. So keeping that in mind, what could be that alternative behavior? Asking for ice cream. Asking for ice cream. And asking for ice cream is going to give him what? Access to? Tangibles. Preferred. To the ice cream, right. Yes. Correct. Carol, I'm sorry I interrupted you. You said? Access to preferred tangible. Access to preferred tangible. And it's also going to give him attention from mom because he's going to talk to her and there's going to be an interaction. Agree with me? Okay. So, the, uh, so if we were talking about FCT, which is the functional communication training, so here we, we would say the therapist trains the client to say, mom, I want ice cream. And the therapist reinforces the alternative behavior. This is called differential reinforcement of what? Other. Of alternative. 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 Uh, it's also known as the three word, the th three letters, which is. DRA. DRA. And I think uh, somebody had already mentioned that in the, in the, so those key, those are things that are key. 
for functional communication training. It has to do with the EO, the EO, the EO uh, and it has to do with DRA, and it has to do with also coming up with an alternative behavior, appropriate behavior. Okay, so now let's go to easier learning, which is the alternative communication, uh, communicative responses can be. So we already talked about him talking. So what other ways can we do it? Does it always have to be vocalization? Does it always have to be words? No. So it's give me a couple, just to do it fast. Text, <laughs> signing, sign. Sign. Communication device? Yes. <laughs> yes. Those are all good. Here are the list that Cooper mentioned. So vocalization, signs, communication boards, word cards, picture cards, vocal output systems, or gestures. And it's good to keep the list in mind just to, for us not to limit ourselves to vocalization, especially if a child is struggling with it. Okay, so FCT-based intervention teaches the alternative communication response, and it also typically involves several behavior change tactics. So basically, going back to the scenario, you're gonna teach the child to say, mommy i want ice cream but what are we gonna do with him when he runs right so we have to we have to also do something with that so what are the other things that you also do in the program it could be response blocking what else does it preserve manding well, manding is the appropriate one. We're gonna, we're, that's the alternative, right? That's the one that we're gonna teach him. We're gonna teach him to mand. But how we're gonna deal with the inappropriate behavior because it's, it's happening. So you, it, when you create the program, you have to create them uh, keeping those two things in mind. So, so you can also, you, you're gonna, oh, you can also do response blocking, timeout, response prompting, redirection, and extinction with the problem behavior. It's a combination. So because you could also you could also use a DRI for incompatible behavior. For incompatible running. behavior. It makes sense. But a while back I read in Cooper that we cannot just use DRA or DRI by itself without using some some type of other thing like this. It's not it's not um it's not commonly used because you still wanna the child is running towards the, the street, the scenario that we talked before. The, the child is running towards the street, so we need to block that. So we are gonna teach him to say, mommy, I want ice cream, but at the same time, if he's engaging in running, in elopement, we have to somehow block it and use those two strategies. So I just wanted to point that out. That's what Cooper has. Uh, if, you ha if you have more specific questions about it, just go to Cooper page uh, 495. And he just mentions a list of examples. It doesn't mean those are the only ones. So now we're just gonna go to mock questions. I have some simple ones, some more complicated ones, just to keep momentum going. So let's go for it, guys. FCT stands for Functional Communication Tactics, Functional Communication Training, Functional Communication, communi fun Fundamental Communication Training, or Fundamental Communication Tactics. This is hard. This is so hard. B. We have one for B. Jessica B. said B and Brittany. B. Go, Jessica. Go, Brittany. B. There you go, guys. We started good. <laughs> okay, let's go to the next one. FCT is an application of DRO, DRA, DRA, DRD. B. B. I have, one for, I have a couple of them for B. Thank you for answering in the chat. I'm getting the hang of the chat, guys. <laughs> okay, yes, DRA. And just for the purpose of knowing, we know DRA stands for Differential Reinforcement of Alternative Behavior. Okay. I have one here. But I left it with a, close your eyes. Ready? Close your eyes, because I left it with the answer. I want to give you the answer. I hope your eyes are closed, because I don't want any, sh no cheating, guys. Are we ready? 
open them up. <laughs> okay, FCT is a way to execute blank training. Tact, manned, intraverbal, or echoic. B. 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 Brittany says B. Jessica, B. Did you cheat? No, right? You didn't cheat, right? You, you, you close your eyes, for real? You really like B as an answer tonight, Annie. Oh, my God. I cannot believe it. You know, sometimes I try to break those things up because it can give you, it can prompt you to the next answer. Uh, I'm not doing it again. Okay. Okay, ready? Uh, after Rebecca collected and analyzed the baseline data, she is starting the implementation of an FCT-based intervention today. She's using M&Ms as a reinforcer for her client. When her client says M&M instead of screaming while grabbing the M&M bag, Rebecca will give her client an M&M in an FR2 reinforcement schedule. Which of the following statements is true? A, Rebecca is implementing FCT correctly. B, Rebecca uh, should start with a different reinforcement schedule. C, Rebecca should not give M&Ms as a reinforcer. Or D, Rebecca should collect more baseline data before implementing the FCT. I have one for B. Brittany, you're fast. I have somebody else for D. <laughs> I just wait for one more because I know this one's long. I think it's a B too. Yeah. B. Okay. So it is B. I'm sorry it continues to be B. I, I promise I did not do it on purpose. <laughs> That's okay. <I> was just <laughs> <laughs> so whoever wants to explain to me or give me the keywords in the question or, or in the scenario that would tell you that it's B. Why is it B? Because why is it FR2 and not FR1? Because of FR2. You just, you just start with the implementation. Yes. So the keywords is the implementation. Here's what I would highlight. The implementation was started today. So she's starting it today. She cannot start with FR2. She needs to start, like uh, I think Rita mentioned, in FR what? One. One. Or another word for it would be CRF. CRF. Nice job, guys. Okay, <clears throat> let's go to the next one. Uh, okay, here's the one that had the, we already know the answer for this one. When should FCT be utilize, utilized in a treatment package? Always, sometimes, only at the beginning, only at the end. Always. Always. Two for always. A. Another A. And another A in the chat. So yes, you are correct. So why is it A? Why do we always have to do it? As as need you do it as needed. It can't be sometimes. It can't be only at the beginning because you miss out in the middle or the end. It can't be at, only at the end because you miss out in the beginning and the middle, you know. Yes. Yes. And we, we have a, a big focus on communication. Doesn't matter what type of communication, whether sign or gesture or, gesture or vocalization, that way it reduces the maladaptive behavior. Okay, so Demi is implementing an FCT-based intervention. She is going to thin her client's reinforcement schedule. Which of the following statements about the above scenario are true? Okay. A. Initially, FCT target response must be reinforced on an FR3 reinforcement schedule. B. A recovery of the challenging behavior could occur in FC, 
T. C, Demi needs to teach the target response before she sees the reinforcement schedule. Or D, Demi's client doesn't need to master the target behavior response before she thinks the reinforcement schedule. Take your time, this one's long. C. C. C, C, C in the chat. Anybody else? C. C, another C. Okay, uh, let's see. So, why would it be B? I actually, you know what? I actually, it, this is C is not a bad answer. C could also be the answer. Demi needs to teach the target response before she thinks the reinforcement schedule. Okay, let's keep that one as part of the answer. I'm gonna make a note of it, but uh, let's pretend this one's not even here. Why would I put B as an answer? A recovery of the challenging behavior could occur in FC. That is in Cooper, I believe. And it the uh, and I did it because Ratio is that because of ratio string? Yes, yes. Good. You wanna explain a little bit more about it? When you thin it too quickly or you <laughs> thin it too much, I guess too uh, what would I say? Like it, you thin it where they're waiting like an extremely long time to get the reinforcer or reinforcement, then you might see challenging behaviors as a result. Yes. So you cannot go too fast. So this is one of the one of the things that could happen. Okay. But uh, I'm gonna double check C because I, 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 the word is worded, the way is worded, it could also be the answer in my opinion. Okay, let's go to the next one. We still have a couple to go. Albert wants to start implementing an FCT based intervention. The first thing he needs to do is assess the blank of the challenging behavior. Is it A, antecedent, B, function, B, B. or D, S? <coughs> B. B. One for B. Anybody else? I think I have two. Do I have two Bs in the shot? We've had so many Bs this time around that I don't even know. <laughs> I don't know if this is for this question or last question. I'm gonna take it for this one. It is correct, guys. It is the function. As we talked in the beginning, it is very important to find out the function. That's the only way we know how to get the appropriate alternative communicative behavior. That's the way they word it. Okay, FCT is a strategy that teaches individuals way to functionally appropriately communicate to compete with challenging behaviors evolved by mo's eos aos or oos b eos b oh my goodness anybody else mm. I'll take B. Hi guys, this is so hilarious. I'm glad you pointed it out. I think I've only had one that is A, the rest have been B. So it is EO. Since we already talked about it and we taught it and I taught it and you talked and explained, who wants to explain why? So whoever is in doubt, just gets it tonight and never forgets it. 
Go ahead. Remember, we learn more when we teach. So, somebody says in the chat, most of, I like that. I want to talk about it later, Brittany. Thank you for bringing it up. So, EO, why is it so important, the EO, guys? Because it evokes um, certain behaviors and it's because of its value altering. I don't know. It's because what uh, what we had talked in the beginning basically is your want. This is what you want. This is how much you want something. How much you want. I'm running out of time, but we're almost done. How much you want uh, something. The how much you want something increases. So you're hungry, 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 hungry. You have that increase of wanting that ice cream. That's the EO. So you need to see what is that thing that is causing you to run towards the, uh, towards the, the car. So you guys said it correctly. You guys said, oh, maybe he's hot, maybe he's hungry. And that's why he's doing it. And that's the EO. So if he's hungry and he's hot, then we're gonna do something that is gonna replace that, uh, the reason why he's engaging in that behavior. Okay, so FCT is a strategy that teaches individuals ways to functionally or appropriately communicate to compete with a, a challenging behavior evoked by EOs. In the above statement, the word evoked is referring to I or an, operant behavior, reflex, respondent behavior, operational definition. A. I want for A and two more A in the shot. A. Another A. Nice guys, A it is and woohoo! The last one was not B. Yeah. Okay guys, so just for us to review, a respondent behavior would be what? Evoked, elicited, 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 elicited. And the other one, who remembers the other one that is for opera and behavior? Emit. Emit it. Emit it. There you go. Nice job, guys. Woohoo! We made it. Thank you very much. I'm happy to have you here. And if you want more in depth studying with us, just book a tutoring session and don't forget the class on Saturday. It's going to be good. You're going to, we're going to squeeze your brains out. <laughs> Bye, guys. Good night. Take care. Thank you. Good night. Bye bye.